Hi everyone, today's video is all about energy. The energy that you bring to a situation really impacts on the results that you will get. If you attack anything with a positive energy, positive attitude, you're much more likely to get positive results. If you go into something quite sluggish, a bit negative, then often that's what you'll see as the output as well. So a great way of shifting up your energy because it's easy to get a little bit tired, sluggish, is to move. Now, if you've watched one of my other videos, you'll be in for a treat because again, I'm going to get you to participate in this. I don't call it an action series for nothing. So I want you to join me in doing 10 jumping jacks or star jumps, whatever you want to call them, okay? So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! How do you feel now? Certainly I feel more energised, more full of energy and if you move on a regular basis, I recommend at least once an hour, then your energy levels do stay in a much higher space. If you've ever spent a whole evening just chilling, quite sluggish on the sofa, you'll often feel that your energy levels are actually really low. So I'm all about keeping your energy levels really, really high all of the time. So that's one thing to think about, move. We all have access to it. Let's really, really move our bodies. It really impacts your energy levels. Now, a second concept around energy that I'm going to talk to you about is positive and negative energy. So I've got a little prop for this and it's all around a book called How Full Is Your Bucket? Okay, so Google it. It's by a guy called, I think it's Donald Clifton and Tom Rath. Um, they're really interesting in terms of their ideology around kind of positive mindset and positive recognition. So it's called How Full Is Your Bucket? So I've got a bucket here just to demonstrate. Now they talk about each person having a metaphorical bucket. So in terms of your day-to-day -day life, you've got this bucket that you go around with and depending on what you do, what interactions you have, some people will be what we call bucket fillers. So I feel a bit like Blue Peter or something like that. So bucket fillers. So people who will actually leave us feeling energised, fuller, after interactions are our bucket fillers. So it might be a bit of positive feedback, recognition. We might have had a really, really good laugh with someone. That often kind of fills our bucket, makes us feel fuller, happier. But there'll be other people in our life that drain the life from us. Okay, you're probably able to think of one person right off the top of your head. Now these are called our bucket dippers. Try not to cover myself in water here. Actually what they're doing is they're taking from us every single time that we're having an interaction or in that specific instance now, this isn't about me saying, oh, you're either a bucket filler or a bucket dipper and that's you. Because the same person can be a bucket filler for some people and a bucket dipper for others. We might also be a bucket filler for ourselves at times and then taken from our bucket because we're being negative or lacking in confidence in an area. So it's about how can you be a bucket filler for other people and also for yourself, most importantly, first. Love that concept. And it's one that's now getting taught in schools around growth mindset. Really, really important concept about energy and the importance of positive and negative energy there. So a few great tips about bringing positive energy to people are truly listening to them. So giving them some time listening to them, having good fun with people. If somebody's really gone over and above for you, say thank you, show recognition, okay? If somebody's looking really good, give them a compliment. Really can make somebody's day. So many different ways in which we can fill somebody's bucket. There's certain people that you'll work with and you just click with, just connect with. These will tend to be our bucket fillers. Other people, it might feel a little bit like the relationship is like a frayed wire. Sometimes it connects, but a lot of the time it really doesn't. These are the individuals that we need to think about. How can we be more of a bucket filler rather than that bucket dipper? 
So that's a couple of key areas in which you can consider how you bring your energy to certain situations and the importance of it in terms of your life overall. So I want you to take action as a result of this video today. And your one action is when you're feeling sluggish, when you're sitting on that sofa, when you're at work, I want you to make sure that you're getting up and moving about. So take that walk, do the jumping jacks. Okay, I won't subject you to me doing jumping jacks again, but really get moving, take action. Energy is created by you taking action. The less you do, the less energy you will have. So it's really about making sure that you're maximizing your energy. So go get to it, take action, and make sure that you have a really energetic day. Thanks for tuning in.